baptism is essential because it is the fountain of youth. Only if it has the blood of Jesus in it. But man has put his hands on religion and made a mess. Man has tampered with God's perfection. There are those who will tell you that baptism is not essential to your salvation. That's not authorized by God. Because when you are baptized, you're doing just like Jesus. When he died, he was buried and resurrected. Get for me Romans chapter 6 and verse number 1. And another go over there to Acts chapter 2 and verse number 38. And somebody else get Mark 16, 15 and 16. Baptism is essential to your salvation. You want to be saved tonight. You can be saved tonight, but you've got to follow the plan that God gave man. You want to live throughout ceaseless ages. You want to live with God when this world comes to an end. You've got to come through the fountain of you. It's not a physical thing. It's a spiritual thing. And it has within it the blood of Jesus. But you have to symbolize your dying to sin. Romans chapter 6 and verse number 1. The Bible says what? What shall we say then? What shall we say then? Shall we continue in, shall sin, we continue in sin? That grace may abound. That grace may abound. God forbid. God forbid. How shall we that are dead to How sin? How shall we that are dead to sin? Live any longer therein. Live any longer therein. Know ye not. Know ye not. As so many of us. So many of us. As were baptized into Jesus that Christ. That baptized into Jesus Christ. Were baptized into his were death. baptized into his death. Therefore, Call it. we were baptized into his death. That's why the death of Christ is significant to your walk. And if he died, you have to die. He died so that you could go down in water and die uh, to sin and rise up in the newness of life. Know ye not? Read. Therefore, Therefore, we are buried with, him, buried with him by baptism into by death. Baptism into Christ, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead, like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father. By the glory of the Father, even so we also, even so we also should walk in newness walk of life. Walk in newness of life. Read. For if we have been planted together, yeah, we have been planted together. In Read. the likeness of His death, in the likeness of His death, we shall also be in the likeness we shall of His also resurrection. Be in the likeness of His resurrection. I don't know about you tonight, but that makes me want to shout. When I came to Jesus, I had some stuff in my life. You did too. Don't look at me like you know. All of us had stuff. Junk in the trunk. Skeletons in the closet. Stuff under the bed. Stuff we didn't want to tell anybody but Jesus. But when we came in contact with him, he covered up what we had done. Am I right about it? All that stuff was buried and we rose in the newness of life. Baptism is essential to your salvation. Now I've heard people say before, and I'm closing, people have said, I've been baptized. I had somebody question me not long ago, just in wherever, Richmond or Newark or somewhere, and they said, Brother Evans, I, I've been baptized for the remission of my sins and I've been over here and I've uh, been worshiping God. I said, where you been worshiping? Clear it up. They said, I've been over here at such and such Baptist church. I said plainly to them, if you had been taught right and baptized right, then you would have been worshiping and attending and a part of the body of Christ, the church of Christ. Amen. They looked at me real funny. I said, now, what happened on the day of Pentecost, those who obeyed, the gospel were baptized in water were added to the body of Christ man might wrote, might write your name on the roll at the church building but you got to be more concerned is did God write your name on the roll in heaven Acts 2 47 says and the Lord added to the church Daily, such as should be saved, which lets me know the saved are in the church. And you can't get in the church unless you are baptized into Christ Jesus. See, you can be baptized, you can be religious, you can be faithful, but it could be wrong. 
You say, give me a good example of this. Go to Acts chapter 19, if you would, and I'm going to close with this. Acts chapter 19. There were some men over there who were disciples. They were trying to do the right thing. They thought they were doing the right thing. And they were going on with their lives, and Paul came upon them, and he began to talk to them. What does the Bible say? And it came to pass. It came to pass. That while Apollos was at Corinth. While Apollos was at Corinth. Paul having passed through the upper coast. Paul having passed through the upper coast. Came to Ephesus. Came unto Ephesus. And finding certain disciples. Finding certain disciples. Now these are followers. Finding certain disciples. What he, about? He said unto them. He said unto them. Have you received the Holy Ghost? Have you received the Holy Ghost? Since you believe. Since you believe. And they said unto him. They said unto him. We have not so much we as heard. We have not so much heard that there be any Holy Ghost. And he said unto them. He said unto them. Unto what then? Unto what then? Were you baptized? Were you baptized? Hold it now. He said, have you received the Holy Ghost? Your disciples, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? They said, we have not even heard that there be any Holy Ghost. Then Paul said, well, then what were you baptized under? What teaching did you get? And they said, what? Read. Unto John's baptism. Unto John's baptism. They were religious. They thought they were doing the right thing. But they needed further teaching. Amen. Read a little bit more. Then said Paul. Then said Paul. John verily baptized, John with, the baptized the baptism of repentance, with the baptism of repentance. Saying unto the people. Saying unto the people. That they should believe they on should him. They should believe on what? On him. On him. Which should come which after should him. Which should come after him. See, they had, they had believed on the baptism of John. The baptism of repentance. John was preparing the way for Jesus to come. He, he was the forerunner for Jesus. Even Jesus went down by the water there where John was baptizing and was baptized with the baptism of suffering. He was an example for us. But when Jesus was resurrected from the grave, there was another baptism to be administered and it was water baptism for the remission of your sins. And it must be in the name and by the authority of Jesus the Christ. And Paul taught them. Start with that verse one more time, Brother Foster. Okay. Then said Paul. Then said Paul. John verily baptized. John verily baptized. With the baptism of repentance. With the baptism of repentance. Saying unto the people. Saying unto the people. That they should believe on they him. They should believe on him. Which should come after which him. Which should come after him. Read. That is. That is. On Christ Jesus. On Christ Jesus. Read. When they heard this. When. Hold it. I probably not ever get to get up here again because I'm just as long-winded as my daddy. <laughs> when they heard this, and I'm wondering tonight, is there somebody here? Yeah, yeah. When you hear yeah. this, yeah. Yeah. will you do something different? When they heard this, read. They were baptized. They were baptized in the name of the Lord in Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. When they were taught further when they were taught better they did better that's what this crusade is all about helping those who don't know the lord to come into the knowledge of the lord and helping those who have begun a relationship with him learn the right way to worship to praise him and to get into his body that's why i was adamant on saturday night when i said we have come to tampa to help somebody get to Jesus. You've seen already this week several have been in the water and there have been 50 I think before we even got here and I believe there will be many more before this crusade comes to an end and long after we're gone they'll feel the effects of the church of Christ being in the Tampa uh, area. When they heard this they were baptized. Now what will you do tonight? What will you do tonight? Have you believed the gospel of Jesus Christ and lived under his authority so many things to cover when it comes to authority but if you want to be saved tonight you have to begin a relationship with Christ believing in him repenting of your sins and confessing him as your Savior as your Lord as Son of God and be